Head loss across water systems is found in two forms, minor losses and major losses. The objective of this experiment is to examine minor losses, which are caused by bends, fittings, and valves over a range of steady flows. Each fitting has a loss coefficient, or K value, that can be used to calculate the head loss that it caused in the system. Since flow through fittings is complex and every fitting is manufactured differently, K values must be derived through experimentation. In the energy loss apparatus, a number of common fittings with different K values are connected in series. These fittings include long bin, enlargement, contraction, elbow, short bin, miter bin, and a gate valve. Each fitting has two tubes attached to it, one at the beginning and one at the end. The tubes are then hooked up to manometers, which allow you to measure the head before and after each fitting. The air bleed screw enables the levels and the manometers adjusted to a convenient level for reading. The differential pressure gauge gives a direct reading of head loss through the gate valve. Two clamps are used to close off the tappings to the miter bin when experiments on the valve fitting is performed. Set up the apparatus on the bench, ensuring that it is horizontal. Connect the inlet pipe to the bench flow supply, a small tube from the air bleed valve to the volumetric tank, and extension tube from the outlet to the volumetric tank. Open the bench valve, gate valve, flow control valve, and start the pump to fill the apparatus with water. In order to bleed air from pressure tapping points and the manometers, close the control valve and open the air bleed valve. The system will be purged once air bubbles and the manometer tubes are no longer visible. Close the air bleed valve. Open the control valve and adjust the flow using the inlet valve to approximately 7 liters per minute. Allow air to enter the system by opening the air bleed valve slightly and closing it when the manometer levels reach a convenient height. Note that we will be taking 5 readings, so you need to make sure that the water level and manometers are such that they will allow us to take distinct sets of readings middle of the board to start with. After reaching minimum flow, Take the height readings of all manometers and record the flow rate. Flow rate can be measured by closing the plunger on the volumetric tank and reading the flow accumulated over a certain amount of time in the tank, which is read from the sight glass. Flow should be collected for at least one minute to minimize timing errors. Measure the water temperature by a thermometer at the lowest flow rate. This is used to determine the Reynolds number of the flow. Adjust the flow rate and repeat the process four more times, ensuring that you have four distinct sets of flow rates, ranging from approximately 7 to 18 liters per minute. Clamp all the tubes connected to the miter bin. This will prevent air from entering the valve that would affect the readings. Using the last flow from part A, begin to close the gate valve until you have a reading of approximately 0.3 bars on the differential gauge and record the flow. Repeat this process with 0.6 bar and 0.9 bar pressure difference. Be sure to drain the equipment test section and manometers. Clean up your station and any water that may have spilled. Following the lab manual, enter the test results into the raw data tables, complete the results table, and put together your lab report. If you have any questions, consult your teaching assistant or professor.